there's there's this fascinating component, this fascinating aspect of real estate that I I struggle with, and um, and I believe it's something I need to talk more about so people become more aware of it. Real estate is is filled with me mediocrity and people um, that maybe sell one or two homes a year. Oftentimes, consumers feel a social obligation or pressure to use a real estate agent because they live down the street or they see them at cocktail parties all the time. They say, well, we, we have to use you know, this person because it'll just be awkward if we don't. But no one ever does that with their financial plan. They don't say, I'm going to invest $100,000 with Steve down the road because you know we see him at the parties and he's at the park walking his dog. Not in a million years would they do that. Um, so I think it's real important that, that people, when they're in a situation like that and they want to buy or sell a home, you know, they look at that person that's a friend and you know, think to themselves, would I write that person a check for $15,000 just because I have a social obligation to them? My guess is probably not. And I would, certainly wouldn't go to a, uh, a dentist because he's a friend to have him work on my knee. And that's kind of how I see somebody who doesn't sell a lot of homes each year, who's not involved in a lot of transactions, that doesn't specialize in real estate full time. Um, it's an important component, I think there's an important reason why across the United States there is quite a high level of dissatisfaction with agents, is because there are so many agents that, that don't focus full time on real estate and so many people that feel a social obligation to use them. And I think if the consumer starts putting themselves first, and starts saying, if I take everything away and I just look at solely the transaction, I'm probably the biggest investment of my life. Who do I want to represent?